Hello and welcome to New India Junction. I am your host Divya Singh Sharma. And today the New Garland City has brought to you to Gurudwara Rakab Gan Sahib to tell you the tale of Guru Tegh Bahadur who was executed in Chandni Chowk where the Gurudwara Seize Ganj Sahib stands. Why Seize Ganj? Because Seize means head and Guru Tegh Bahadur's head was severed right there on the orders of Aurangzeb. Guru Tegh Bahadur's martyrdom, a story of self-sacrifice for dharma, the tale which inspired and continues to inspire generations. Nawab Iftikhar Khan, governor of Kashmir, appointed by Aurangzeb to convert pundits to Islam, thinking common people might follow pundits and convert too. His proselytizing activities terrified the pundits. Their very existence was at stake. The pundits thought of seeking Guru Tegh Bahadur's help. A 15-man deputation of Kashmiri pundits requested Guruji to protect the Hindu, Indic culture and civilization. The Guru's heart melted at their tale of woe. An eight-year-old Gobindas innocently asked the cause of sadness of Guru and the pundits. The Guru replied, the nation required a holy man to sacrifice his life. The child thoughtlessly remarked there could be no holier person than the Guru himself. Taking this as God's word, Guru informed the pundits that they should tell Iftikhar Khan to convert Tegh Bahadur first. This reached Aurangzeb, the tyrant unruly emperor's mind, already prejudiced against Tegh Bahadur, issued a firman to the governor of Lahore to arrest and imprison the Guru until he was called to Delhi. They executed the orders in such a way as not to arouse any serious alarm and imprisoned Guru and his companions. After four months, the Fajdar put the Guru in an iron cage, fastened on the back of an elephant. His companions were fettered and handcuffed and were carried in a bullock cart to Delhi. Aurangzeb asked him to embrace Islam. The Guru refused. Aurangzeb ordered severest tortures on Guruji. After five days of persecution, Aurangzeb tried to forcibly change Guruji's mind. Dyaldas, Matidas and Satidas, Mohyal Brahmins from Jhelum and the Guru were brought to the open space in front of the Kodwali where now stands a fountain. First, Bhai Matidas was asked to become a Muslim. He replied, Sikhism was true, Islam was false. If God had favoured Islam, he would have created all men circumcised. He was at once tied between two posts, was sawn across from head to the loins. Dyaldas abused the emperor and courtiers for this atrocious act. He was tied up like a bundle with an iron chain and was put into a huge cauldron of boiling oil, roasted alive into a block of charcoal. Satidas condemned the brutalities, was hacked to pieces limb by limb. Before Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji's siege was severed at Sizgan Sahib in Chandni Chowk, four of his disciples were executed. Throughout the execution, Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji kept chanting Wahe Guru. He knew his time has come to sacrifice for the nation, for the dharma, for the Kashmiri Pandit's promise. Bahe Jina Di Pakadiye सर दीजे बाहे न छोड़िए टेक बहादुर बोलिया धर पाइए धर्मा न छोड़िए गिव अप योर हेड बट फॉर सेक नॉट दोज हुम यू हैव अंडरटेकन टू प्रोटेक्ट सेज टेक बहादुर सैक्रिफाइस योर लाइफ बट रिलिंक्विश नॉट योर फेथ दिस वाज व्हेन द काजी आस्क्ड हिम इदर टू शो अ मिरेकल एम्ब्रेस इस्लाम और फेस डेथ द ब्लो वाज गिवन एंड द हेड ऑफ गुरुजी रोल्ड ऑन द फ्लोर सो ऑन द ऑर्डर्स ऑफ औरंगजेब Guru Tegh Bahadur ji's head was severed and then one of his disciples had stolen it and bought it here and so that he doesn't get caught this place used to be known as Rakib village back then and so that he doesn't get caught he burnt his entire house to cremate Guru Tegh Bahadur ji's siege and that is what was put as rakh in a bronze pot and buried right here where stands Gurdwara Rakab Ganj and this tale of history is very important as it has inspired generations to come it's a tale that tells you how you should protect the nation and fight for your dharma guru tegh bahadur ji sacrificed his life and kept his promise that he made to the kashmiri pandits to protect them and he gave up his life in honor of the nation and this tale is something that we youngsters should never forget every year to mark his sacrifice and determination for dharma 
shahidi divas is how it is celebrated the day that he was executed and the day that he was cremated now what happens every year in between sees ganj and rakab ganj gurdwara is this year the days are on 27th in sees ganj gurdwara there will be a program and then nagar kirtan will travel from sees ganj to rakab ganj on 28th and then 28th there will be a program here and 29th there will be a completion of the program to mark shahidi divas where four of his disciples and guru tegh bahadur ji had given their lives this tale is very important for us to know to know what determination it takes to stand up and fight for dharma against forced conversions against tyrannic rulers and against injustice thank you so much for watching this is divya singh sharma signing off stay tuned to new india junction for more stories like this